Hey everyone, it's Johnny, your Independent Sensi Consultant. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are gonna be talking about the August 2021 scent and warmer of the month for Sensi. <laughs> what else would it be for? All right, so I just got this box today. Super stoked. We're gonna like unbox it together, look at it. I'm very excited about this warmer. Uh, little hint, if any of you liked the Dainty Daisy warmer or the Crystal Leaves warmer, this is another one of those warmers up your alley. So, if you are a Scentsy consultant, you can subscribe and opt to get the Scent of the Month kit or the Scent and Warmer of the Month kit. Uh, I chose to get the Scent and the Warmer because I saw this warmer and I was like, oh my god, it's my life, right there. Um, and you will see why, and we'll talk about it soon. But if you get this kit, you get a room spray, some scent uh, stickers to sniffy sniffy and send out to people. You get a bunch of bars and a tester in our scent. Doo -doo -doo, it's purple, one of my favorite colors. Just kidding, it's my favorite color. And I'm wearing purple and things are purple everywhere. Uh, some flyers and of course the warmer, which I'm not gonna show you, but, well, I'm gonna show you in a minute, but that's what comes in this kit. Let's dive in. So let me pull out one of these flyers, these handy dandy pamphlets, because we are gonna talk about this warmer. We're gonna smell the scent, which I've never smelled before, and all of that. So let's start with our scent. Our scent is called Vanilla Blackberry. All right, and this is in the fruity category. Let's talk about this before we get all up in arms about like, but we have black raspberry vanilla. This is blackberry. Black raspberry and blackberry are two different scents, even though they're similar. So, this is described as bold, fruity blackberry draws you in with an amber and vanilla finish. So, the top notes are per, perg, bergamot, not a P, it's a B, red berries. Mid notes are pink jasmine and green gauge plum. And base notes are amber, musk, vanilla, and cedar. All right, so uh, yes, we have our like signature bestseller scent was black raspberry vanilla. This is blackberry and vanilla, or and I should say vanilla blackberry, so you don't get them confused. Um, I've never smelled this, so we're gonna smell this together. I have a bunch of testers here, her, well, and bars. So let's find out. So it's definitely fruity. Like on first sniff, I get berries more than I get vanilla. And one of the things that I'll say is that it's it's a lighter berry scent than black raspberry vanilla. So if we're gonna use that as a comparable tool during this kind of dissection, this is a lighter, brighter, more berry scent where black raspberry vanilla tends to be more of a deep, rich, sun-ripened berries. <sighs> yeah, these are, this is like a lighter, fresher, almost dewier berry. It's still in a similar scent vein though. I do pick up the like plum notes in this and I do pick up the red berry notes. And I think that combined with obviously the blackberry note really accentuates the berry quality. And I do get the vanilla coming in, but it is more on the berry side of things. So if you're looking for a more vanilla heavy scent, I'm not getting it, at least not on the top of this. Let me see if I... I get a hint of the jasmine, like a hint of a floral. I don't know if I would have been like, oh my gosh, that's pink jasmine. But I get like there's a hint of a floral. I do sense bergamot as like a, a zesty crispness, but it's not like straight up like a limey sort of scent, if that's what you're worried about. It kind of um, mutes a little bit of the sweetness, so it's not so cloyingly fruity, like sugary. It allows the plum to kind of take a little bit more of a, um, a central tie-in to the blackberry. Let's see what the, what the bottom of the bar smells like. Okay, so the bottom of the bar, I actually get more of like a greens note. Like greens and berries. 
that could be, although it's not like distinctly like greens in the sense like, oh, I smell grass. It's almost like a woodsy green. So that might be the cedar. That might be the cedar note that I'm picking. Yeah. Yeah, the more I smell this, the more I can pick up that base note of cedar. Cedar's a pretty predominant scent note in just about anything. Like it's 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 kind of hard to miss if you have it in the scent. Unless the scent is not really cedar. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I think it's it's the the cedar note, maybe a hint of the musk. And then like blackberry plum. That's really good. It's almost like a berry's cedar more than a berry's vanilla to me. Yeah, it's, it's, I know it's in the fruity category, but I would almost like, The, the berry note in this is giving me like just for you vibes. Uh, the winter scent that's like fur supposedly and like blackberry. It's like definitely blackberry. But you don't get like the green tree note in this scent obviously. You do get a hint of the cedar though. I think, I think that's what it is. I'm getting cedar and musk uh, on the bottom rounding out the scent. The, the vanilla and amber is kind of like filling it out and smoothing it and mellowing it, but it's not, I don't know if I really get vanilla as like a main contender in this scent. And that's okay because I like more woodsy based scents. So if this stays more on like the cedar ended note of the deep fruity berry note, I will probably love the scent. Um, that's kind of one of my biggest issues with black raspberry vanilla personally is that there's no um, depth to it. It feels like a very, it's a great scent. I like it. I love warming it. Um, but I feel like it's fairly one dimensional compared to some of the more complex or unique scents, uh, that, that Scentsy has come up with in the past. So this one, this one I'm kind of hoping, Ooh, this reminds me of a vendor wax, like a really vent, like I, it's like a plum something that I got from Oh, it's gonna drive me nuts. I've smelled something very similar to this from uh, Destination Wax and I like fell in love with it when I warmed it. So if it smells anything like that one, whichever one it was on warm, this is gonna go in my club. All right, that's enough about the, the scent. We could sit there and prattle on all day and decide what it's about. Let me know if you've warmed it, smelled it, sniffed it, had it in a whiff box in the little sample cup, what your thoughts are on it. Does it smell like black raspberry vanilla? Does it smell like something different? Is it very vanilla-y? Is it more blackberry? Is it like, do you pick up on the woodsy note? Um, I'm obviously gonna warm it. I'll let you know what it smells like in one of my reviews. But in the meantime, I'd love to hear from you. So. That being said, let's talk about our warmer, which is called Night Sky. Ah, I'm so excited about this. All right, the warmer of the month. It is a 25 watt warmer, so you know what that means. We're gonna use colored bulbs in this video. We're gonna go through all of them. 10, 10 guesses as to, well, I guess there's only five bulb colors. Five guesses to which one is my favorite colored bulb. All right, this is called Night Sky. It is a mosaic of hand-placed glass accents, shines in a stellar display that's as mesmerizing as the real thing. It's a six inch tall warmer. If you're familiar with our Dainty Daisy, like I mentioned earlier, uh, it's basically a similar silhouette to that, if not identical. Although that one is a 20 watt warmer, this is a 25 watt warmer. And the, um, from what I'm gathering is that these, the tiles for on this one that are supposed to look like the night sky are iridescent, at least when you have the warmer off, which makes me even more excited because I like my shiny things. Uh, now this warmer is going to be, uh, during the month of August, it will be available for $54 US. And, and then while supplies last afterwards, it will go back up to $60 US. So it is a little bit more uh, on the higher end of our warmer price ranges, but it is a 25 watt warmer and there are stars on it. So I'm sold. 
All right, let's see. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Sorry, I sound like the Kool-Aid man. Oh yeah. This is our beautiful, gorgeous warmer. It is, oh, I love it. And I want all of these. I want our whole room of these. And then I'll just turn off the lights and pretend I'm in outer space. I feel like a five-year-old again and I love every minute of it. Okay, enough about that. Let's get the bulb and put it together. So as you probably noticed as I was showing it in front of the camera, some of the glass cut uh, mosaic tiles have a little bit of an iridescent sheen to them. Um, some of them look a little bit like aged or vintagey or cracks or whatever. That is normal. That's nothing to worry about. The warmer is not like destroyed or damaged in shipping. That's part of the actual um, type of mosaic glass work that they did. It comes with a nice clear dish that we will put on top. And unlike in my other video, I will actually plug in the power so that we don't try to turn it on and then it doesn't work, because that would be silly. I can find the power plug. Come on. I believe in you. Okay. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is, this is a Johnny warmer. I'm also like my favorite shape, I guess, geometric shape, is a star. Five-pointed star. Because I'm going to be a star one day. Ironically, Sensi is like all about stars too sometimes, but this is gorgeous, and I want 700 of these warmers just for me. So you can see the kind of grouting. It looks dark when the warmer is on, uh, and then it helps the, the actual lights and little like beads, and then stars show up beautifully and it's a little bit subtle uh when it's on but you can still get a little bit of that iridescent sheen on a few of the different star uh mosaic glass pieces um depending on which way you're looking at it and what way the light reflects but that is gorgeous and it's quite bright it's not like blinding you in your face bright but it's definitely like, this is not a, a soft warmer, at least not with the clear bulb. Um, but what I'm hoping is that that means that when we put in the colored bulbs, especially the more dim ones, it's really gonna shine bright like a diamond. Or at least you'll get the color of the bulb better. So let's start with our orange bulb. This is the fun part, except for me like singeing my fingerprints off. But who needs fingerprints, right? We use Face ID now on Apple. We don't use Touch ID. All right, here we go, orange bulb. You can actually kind of see the orange bulb in, inside already without it being turned on. Oh yeah, look at that. So if you want your orange, orange glow, orange starlight night, you will get it. That is quite the orange. It's kind of like I'm pulling an orange. <laughs> All right, moving right along, we have, I think we'll do the green bulb next, why not? That's the next one I grabbed. Right, here we go. We see the kind of see the green bulb in there. There you go, nice and green. So what I, I can tell you for certain, especially in person, if you can't quite see in the camera as well, um, it really does illuminate well. Like whatever color so far that we've put in, you get a vibrant hue of that color. Like it's not washed out or muted, um, which is really nice. Because sometimes we run into that, oh, come on, butterfingers. Sometimes you run into that issue where like, especially we'll see with the red bulb, um, if it ends up being more of like the true tone or if it gets kind of like augmented by the color of the warmer. So here's the red bulb. Nope, this is like straight up red. It does get a slight tinge of red orange, uh, more so than let's say the moon over Jupiter warmer did, but it is still very much red but not maybe quite as true of a red as I would have preferred. So keep that in mind. This with the red bulb is gonna be 
not like straight pure red. It will be like a red with a hint of orange in it. All right, next we have the blue bulb. I love how I'm super delicate with like the warmers and then with the bulbs, I'm just like, whatever, get in there. All right, where's our dish? Here we go, blue bulb. That's actually pretty surprising. It gives off quite a good amount of light considering that blue is one of our dimmer bulbs. So that gives me hope um, for the purple bulb and even more so because we're in a pretty well lit room right now. So the fact that it's giving out that much light uh, in spite of that is pretty impressive. I actually really like that and that kind of lends itself towards like the whole night theme. Now it is again going to be more dim than the red or the orange or the green bulbs but you can actually see it in a fairly well lit room which is pretty awesome. So fingers crossed we can see the purple bulb. Here we go, moment of truth. Actually, you know what? It's, it's dim but you can tell that it's there. And that's in like a bright lit room. Like when we put this in the moon over Jupiter it was kinda hard to tell that there was a purple bulb in there. But because of the reflective nature of the glasswork on this one, you can actually see the purple bulb pretty decently. And just for fun, Echo, turn off chandelier. Just to give you an idea. Oh, this is gorgeous. Well, we know what bulb I'm putting in this warmer. <laughs> Matches my shirt. Hint, hint. That is gorgeous. And that would be great in a room where you wanted less of a bright light, but you still wanted some vibrant um, sort of color work through the glass beads. Oh man, that is probably, oh, that's so pretty. All right, so that is our warmer, the night sky warmer. And honestly, although the white bulb looks awesome, I think that the purple bulb really looks a-okay. Um, so, like I said earlier, this is a little bit more of, expense, of an expensive warmer. It is $54 US with the 10% off. And then afterwards, it will go back up to $60 US. But just based on what we saw here in unboxing, pretty darn awesome. Pretty excited about this warmer. Probably, I mean, we got a lot of cool things coming in our new catalog, to be fair. But this one gives them a run for their money. Um, but that's also because I love stars. So <laughs> that could be that I'm very biased. Um, hopefully this helps you out. Let me know again if you've smelled or warmed the scent. Let me know your thoughts on it. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Was it just forgettable? Did it perform well? And uh, if this was video is helpful, please hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new here. And I look forward to seeing you guys in our next video. Take care. Bye.